2.30 in the morning here, around about that time. And I was awake because jet lag, my time schedule's backwards. I slept from, I guess, about 6.30 this evening to about 1 a.m. I'm up, but it's okay with me. Kind of like putting on a night shift. You know, out here in the country, you're sitting isolated, and that's good, and that's bad. It's both. And, uh, of course, if some people get desperate, they do desperate things. You know, stealing could start going on, but also cattle rustling. Cattle rustling is a real thing. We've experienced it in the past. They would uh, try to, or not try, they did, like, kill some calves, something about the size of a deer, a little bit bigger, quarter it out in the field, and carry it out, stealing the meat. My father experienced that in the past. We had it to happen, and uh, it's a real thing. And nevertheless, that's my staple. That's my livelihood. That's my food. You mess with it, I'm going to mess with you. Uh, we just don't know people's intentions. But my dog, I was sitting in there at the computer. I woke up, had me a cup of coffee, and uh, my big dog girl, she was raising cane outside and she is such a good guard dog man she don't mess around boy that she's a, a pyrenees a breed of pyrenees she's a big dog with a big bark and uh man i used to get upset about her bark but not not now man i tell you what she is the golden ticket around this farm she lets me know what's up for real and uh so she was barking really hard and I was like listening to a video there. And then I thought, you know what? I hear a noise. You know, maybe I don't know why she's barking. Maybe it's coats. Maybe it's a, a neighbor's dog that's been going out in our field. But then I heard like the rumble of an engine. down my sound and I heard the rumble of a motor island man that ain't right so uh, me and Mr. Beretta we headed out the back door and uh, I had spotlight in my hand and as soon as I clicked on that spotlight that vehicle drove away but uh, why why are they parked out front right there why are they creeping and stopping over here at 2 30 in the morning on this country road and only in front of our houses right here you know everywhere else down through here it's blank empty road you want to stop take a pee do whatever you know but when you choose your stopping point right in front of my house on an empty country road we're going to have some questions and there's going to be some answers if i get to you so uh i grew up my father being a um uh, Deputy State Game Warden out here, my my cousin, uh, we'll just call him Bud. I'll leave his personal name out of it and all. And man, it was a little bit wild west out here at one point in our lives, and they worked out here hard and with other officials, the Sheriff's Department and different ones to clean this countryside up. They cleaned it up and made it the beautiful community it is that people so much enjoy here now out here in Portrait. But they don't realize at one point in time the stealing that was going on, cattle rustling, horses stole, the ATV stole, uh, just the poaching with game. And yeah, I mean, just people just driving down the road shooting, you know, shooting, shooting, shooting. And uh, it, it, was, it was a little bit wild. So kudos to my father and, and to my, my cousin, Bud, for uh, their hard efforts that they put in they volunteered all of this for this community and uh they gave up their time and so they made it a lot safer place but i'm gonna tell you what i intend on keeping it a safe place so 
if you need little creeps to catch wind of this video, just know this little compound right here, you know, we're friendly and we're loving people and we'll share anything in the world to you. You contact me, you come up in the daylight hours and say, hello, sir, and you give me respect and you say I'm having a hard time, I'll probably help you. But you come creeping in the middle of the night and try to take something and put my family in fear, my friends in fear, we're going we're gonna to have a talk. And I mean, Mr. Beretta, he has a lot to say. He has a loud voice. He has a very, very loud voice. And uh, he's got a lot of friends that hang out here with him. You know, they chill out. And they all like to speak pretty loud when there's a problem, you know. Mr. Smith and Mr. Wesson, all of them. Mr. Ruger, all of them. Man, they, they, uh, they speak up when there's a problem around here. Now, I like them to stay chill and calm and just go hang out in a little room to themselves and not bother nobody. But, you know, I'll have to go knock on their door and get them out of their room if somebody comes creeping around here. I'll just tell you right now. We don't like to have that kind of energy here on this videos. We don't like to have that kind of vibe, but we're going to keep a reality check going here too. Reality check is I won't put up with no nonsense. My father didn't put up with nonsense. His parents didn't put up with nonsense. Parents before them, great grandparents. We're a family of no nonsense people. Just like my cousin Bud, just like my cousin Pooh, Kenneth Scott, all of them. We are no nonsense people. Got a good hearts in us, but you come to that heart to the front door. You don't come to that heart sneaking up to the back door and taking. So that's what I gotta say about that. People in this community see the video, just know. You don't know if I'm asleep or awake. I'm up all different kinds of hours. I don't work a work schedule. And uh I'm alert and I watch and you know, I'm like a badger just laying waiting. Be good, be kind. If you need help, let me know. I can probably find you help. But come to my front door, come during the daytime. That's all I gotta say. Everybody out there, continue to be safe. This ain't an anger video. It's just a matter of fact video. Because you know everyone, I'd rather be smiling and have a really good heart. But it concerns me when I have nonsense activity like that. We're supposed to be also on a lockdown right now. So what the heck with that? That means somebody's really out being defined not only to the government, but they're up to no good.